So far we have seen what camps and followers are and what are their different types. We have also seen what are simple camps. Now we are going to see some specialized camps which give us the displacement as a specific function of time. And we are going to start with a very simple function where the displacement is steadily increasing with time. So our follower is getting displaced upward in a steady manner. So if you plot the displacement against time graph, it will be a straight line like this while rising and for returning coming down, it will follow the same story. Now if we think of the velocity, since velocity is a derivative of displacement with respect to time, it will be the slope of this graph. And since this displacement graph is a straight line, its slope is constant. So velocity will be constant. So our follower will be moving up with a steady velocity and it will also be coming down with a steady velocity. Now this sounds very nice, but there is a problem. And that problem is seen at the beginning and at the end. If our follower has to attain this finite velocity, all of a sudden at one moment it is at rest and then the next moment it is moving with this velocity. That kind of gain of velocity would need infinite acceleration. And mind you, acceleration leads to inertia forces. So infinite acceleration means infinite inertia forces. This will blow up our cam and follow to smithereens. So this is simply not acceptable. So let us try to make some improvement to our displacement against time graph. Since the linear variation of displacement against time did not work, let us try the next degree. So a second degree or quadratic or a parabolic variation of displacement against time. So we start with plotting the time axis or you can also imagine this to be the cam angle axis and we will divide this into equal number of parts, say eight parts. Then we are going to draw vertical lines from each of these parts and the height of these lines will be equal to the rise of our follower uh, we are looking for. Then we are going to divide the middle line, the central line into equal number of parts as these. So again, eight parts. And then we are going to draw two sets of radial lines like this. One set starting from this corner, the other starting from the other corner, both meeting uh, to these equal parts of the central line. And then we are going to take corresponding intersections, say the first radial line and the first vertical line. I'll take the intersection of that, then the intersection of second radial line and second vertical line, the third radial line with third uh, vertical line and so on. So let us plot these points of intersection and then join them with a smooth curve. So this is our displacement against time graph, one upward facing parabola uh, joining tangentially to a downward facing parabola. Now since velocity is a derivative of displacement, we'll be getting zero velocity at this point. The slope is zero. The slope increases, so does the velocity. It steadily increases, reaches a maximum. And then as the slope reduces to zero, velocity also reduces to zero. So our velocity will be a linear graph for rise as well as return. Now let us see what kind of acceleration that gives us. This too looks nice. The acceleration is derivative of velocity. Since velocity is linear, acceleration will be constant. The slope is constant and therefore we are getting a steady acceleration. But there is still a problem. The acceleration is building up again all of a sudden. At the beginning you would see the acceleration is shooting up from zero to this finite value. That means the inertia force that is going to build up will be building up instantaneously and that is going to give us a very high derivative of acceleration called as the jerk. This too is problematic. We are going to have a very large jerk in this motion at the beginning of motion, at the end of the motion and so on. So we need to improve it even further. In the next clip, we are going to improve on this constant velocity and constant acceleration camps by using simple harmonic camps.